Warning, if you are sensitive to sarcasm, please click away from this video immediately. Hello, and today we're going to be testing literally the best... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Best truck ever in Mud Runner. Now, when I say the best truck ever, I mean literally the best mod ever created in the history of what we call time and space. And this, my friends, this is the truck in question. Why, there is absolutely no way you could even remotely come close to the actual greatness of this vehicle. Now... It, the design is a bit, uh, the design is a bit futuristic, I have to admit. But being that it was designed by the same person that designed the Tesla Cybertruck, you could expect nothing less than true futuristic style. Now, I am sure that there have already been thousands of these pre-ordered by the certain type of crowd that considers electric vehicles to be a fashion accessory. However... This is not an electric vehicle. As a matter of fact, it is powered by a very, very old school turbo diesel engine. Now, where they have placed this turbo diesel engine is actually beyond me because they forgot to send me the marketing brochure when they sent me this vehicle for press use. So I do not know where the hood release is, nor do I know where the hood itself is. But at the end of the day, it is sort of kind of climbing a hill, which the brochure did not mention, but it's still doing it anyway. Actually, oh, it's, oh dear. Oh, it's having a problem. It's having a big problem. Oh, it's really having a problem now, boys. It, uh oh, 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 if I go into maybe low two, Maybe low to um the problem is the belly of the vehicle literally drags Everywhere Literally everywhere. This would be a better Pulling item than the freaking weight sled It would literally be a better thing to pull to test a vehicle's pulling power than the freaking weight sled because it's literally a rectangle it's literally a box it's literally a box although if you try to corner quickly it does have a odd function where the tires will actually camber themselves positively and negatively depending on which way the vehicle is turning which i'm sure is totally safe and fine for tire wear now does it have any no does it have any winch points no, it does not. What a utter, absolute disgrace of you to think that it could possibly have winch points. Winch points are so 2020. This thing lives in the year 2055. Now, let's see if we can maybe pull off a proper test by throwing it off of a mountain. Ah, this hill right here looks brilliant for that. Off you go, then! As you can see, the fact that it's so low to the ground actually is a safety feature, because as you go down hills, it will scrape the bottom of the ground, and therefore slowing the vehicle down. Unfortunately, that does not keep it from rolling over, and it is impossible for this vehicle to be rescued, because there's no way for anything to attach to it. Now... There's also no add-ons available at all, ever. Now, this because the company that created this vehicle is owned by a, a mid-30s billionaire. He doesn't believe in excess. He believes in ultimate minimalism, which is hereby reflected in his design. A design that could be easily replicated and reproduced over multiple models across the range. Now, these models include the model flat, the model slightly less flat, the model long, and the model short. Now, 
as far as going up or over any sort of obstacles, it is impossible. Literally impossible. But in the... Oh, we are very stuck now. But in the distant future, everything will be flat anyway. So that doesn't matter. I mean, when you think about the fact that the Earth itself is indeed flat, and we've been taught this ridiculous notion that the planet is a circle, once we realize that that is absolute complete crap, we'll actually realize that this vehicle sees far enough into the future to know that really, once we all wake up from this round earth dream that we've all foolishly been living in for many, many years, we will indeed realize that the entire world is in fact flat and therefore fully, fully applicable to this vehicle. Now, it is important that we do our water fording test, and the water fording test really does require us to put this thing into some scenarios that it may not be comfortable in. But as we can see from the non-existent suspension, it really has absolutely no flex at all. Now, as we dive into the water, flex shouldn't be a problem. But it may become an issue in some of our other tests. Now, because of the gigantic tires, you would think that this vehicle would do quite well in the water. But actually, the answer to that is no, because the design does not really promote the flow of water around the vehicle. It, in fact, stops it immediately. It is, in fact, shaped, li shaped like the front of a dam. Now, whether or not you choose to drive this vehicle with or against the current probably won't make too much of a difference because it, 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 it just, it'll just get stuck on everything anyway. It'll literally just get stuck on everything anyway, but that's okay because, again, where this, where this world is going, it will be flat and have absolutely no water. So, again, the design is foolproof. So, as we go over these rocks, you will see that the, the design of this vehicle also allows it to... Actually, no, it doesn't allow it to creep over rocks. Really, it doesn't allow it to creep over rocks at all. Maybe very, very minorly. But that's okay, because in the future, this planet won't have rocks. It will be literally a flat, waterless, rockless, treeless, lifeless place where this vehicle can truly be at home. Now, in all seriousness, guys, coming out of character here and moving on into the actual, like, the actual proper opinions of this thing... Um, it's complete crap. Why anybody would release this on the workshop, I have literally no freaking clue. Literally no idea. This thing is about the probably the worst thing I've ever driven in my entire time I've ever played, you know, Spin Tires Mudrunner. Just as a... It's stuck again. It's stuck again. It's literally... Aha! Yes! There you go! Uh-oh literally all gone wrong it has literally all gone wrong it's not like you can winch yourself out of it either because there's literally no freaking winch point to attach to anything ah! oh it's rage inducing it's genuinely rage inducing and very few vehicles are rage inducing to me this vehicle this freaking thing is absolutely rage inducing drive it yourself and you will literally discover how rage inducing this thing is literally spend i don't know 20 minutes driving it spend 20 minutes driving this freaking thing you will literally be about to pull your hair out by the end of those 20 minutes i freaking promise you i absolutely freaking promise you that this will be the worst driving experience you could have ever endured across your own personal career of playing the spin tires or mud runner series now with that being said i feel as though it's important to spawn in a proper truck a proper pull vehicle a tow vehicle because i want to see what happens if you try to actually pull this thing with something now i have a feeling that it'll probably go very very wrong but 
I've never tried it before, and I feel like because of the fact that we're here, we really may as well try... Ooh, definitely not in that. But we really may as well try it, and I'll bring in a couple of trucks. As a matter of fact, I'll bring Red's first-gen mud truck. I'll go ahead and set it over there. And I will also bring something just a little bit crazier. Just a little, just, just a little bit crazier. Just a little bit. Now... What that's going to be is probably the... Mm, hey, I mean, if it's from the future, we may as well bring the Cybertruck. We may as well bring the Cybertruck. I mean, the Cybertruck... The Cybertruck is literally... Hey, I mean, they're basically designed by the same guy. Look at the freaking things. Like, okay, hold on. Let me get in the Cybertruck and bring that stupid thing over here. When I say they're designed by the same guy, I'm literally meaning that as a joke and not meaning that as ha Frog having made the mods, because he did not. Well, he made this mod, not the box thing. Literally, though? Spot the difference. Literally. Let's play, let's play a game. Let's play a game of spot the difference, because I... I oh my god. Design language, identical. All right, so let's go ahead and actually attempt to pull this thing up the hill using the Cybertruck. I have no idea if it's going to actually work or not, but we're here. We might as well... Wait a second, it's not going to work. Oh my god, I'm a dumb... I, I'm a dumb dumb. I am literally the biggest dumb dumb on the face of the earth at the moment because I literally thought that this was going to work, but no, because I don't have any freaking witch points. Oh, okay, well, you know what? You know what? Hang on. We have a use for this thing. We may have a use for it yet. Oh, it's not even recallable. What an utter annoyance. What a genuine utter annoyance of a thing. Now, if there was a police dynamic to Mudrunner, then this would be a wonderful roadblock because that's in fact what we are going to use it for today. And we're going to use the Cybertruck as the vehicle that rams into said roadblock. Now, will anything happen? I have no clue. But what I do know is that whatever happens, extreme or not, is going to be brilliant. So let's go! Oh, poof! Um... Wow, that actually moved a whole heck of a lot more than I thought it was going to. It genuinely moved way more than I thought it was going to. But this is going to conclude my review of the best worst truck ever in the Spin Tires Mud Runner. If y'all enjoyed, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.